Let's do an experiment. Close your eyes for a moment. Visualize 132. Now visualize lemon. What did you see? For 132, did you, like most people, see a one, a three, and a two? For lemon, did you see something round, yellow? Close your eyes again. Cut the lemon in half. Bring the lemon up to your mouth. Smell it. Now take a bite. Did you feel your mouth pucker? You're not alone. We learn language by living in a language-rich environment, an environment in which we hear, see, touch, and experience, an environment in which we explore and discover. Mortensen More Than Math creates that mathematically rich environment for your children, for your students. Our students just aren't getting it in math. Yet in this technological information age, math and problem-solving abilities are increasingly important. In the United States, our children's math scores are not even in the top 10 when compared with other industrialized countries. What's worse, our children are losing their self-confidence. To me, the most exciting thing about Mortensen Math is that even in kindergarten and first grade, the children get a great self-concept and a great feeling of capability because they can do a tremendous amount with math. Last year, my daughter, Nicole, has really excelled in math. She actually became about the top student in her class and she's able to see math in just about everything around her, which has really increased her excitement about math and really boosted her self-esteem. You know, in the six years we've uh, used Mortensen Math at Stepping Stones, we've found that uh, it's been wonderful for our children. I was initially attracted to the uh, hands-on nature of the program and to the full continuum of the program that would uh, go from counting one-on-one -on -one and number recognition all the way through to whatever level of math that we wanted to do. Can you count to nine? Do you know what a rectangle is? No matter, we can teach you that too. As young as three-year-old children love building with the Mortensen math, and as they grow up in the school, they're doing math with a material that they're familiar with. Kids at this age love a feeling of, I can do it all by myself, and they can do math at a very young age. They don't know they're learning math yet. We don't want to just talk about how wonderful Mortensen Math is for children. We want to show you. We'll start with arithmetic first. Imagine being five or six years old. Let's look at the statement, two plus three equals five. Wait a minute. This doesn't look the same as this. There are three symbols here and only one here. How much would you know about a lemon if you started with L-E-M-O-N and didn't get to touch, squeeze, or taste a lemon? What if you never had lemonade, lemon drops, or lemon pie? With the blocks, children see that two units plus three units equals five units. They can compare two tens plus three tens to five tens. They can prove two hundreds plus three hundreds equals five hundreds. They discover that two plus three equals five. Now let's picture 132 again. This is a unit, this is a ten, and this is 100. Here we have 100, three tens, and two units. When we put the symbols together, we have 132. Because we have built with the blocks, we have a visual image of 132. What's more, we can reshape the pieces into a rectangle and see the 132 is the same as 11 taken 12 times. We can imagine that these are chairs, and with the 132 chairs, we can make 12 rows of 11 seats each. There are a few other basics you need for a strong math foundation. We start by defining math simply as counting. After all, aren't addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and measurement just fast ways to count? And before you can count, you need to have the same kind. It's pretty obvious with the blocks. They can explore the world of number, and they can build on their knowledge in a very concrete way. To do 63 minus 28, students get out 63 and 28. They turn the bars for 28 over to the hollow side to show the amount being subtracted. Put it on top of 63 and read the amount not covered. This experience also prepares children to understand negative numbers. Algebra strikes fear in many hearts. With Mortensen, algebra is just generalized arithmetic, a way of counting the unknown. We use algebra to practice basic math skills and boost self-esteem. It's child's play. I already know how to do algebra. 
At first glance, this might look like your ordinary summer camp, but this is anything but your standard camp. This is algebra camp. The goal of the camp is to also to teach young girls confidence at a time in their young lives when what they're learning in school is not only tough, but confusing. Now, the camp's aim is to make problem solving a whiz. So that what you say, what you see, and what you write are the same thing, okay? And that's what we did here. That's what these second, third, fourth, and fifth graders are doing all week in a first-of-its-kind algebra course designed for children who typically shy away from math, which is exactly why the College of St. Catherine is offering this class just for girls. Okay, are you guys ready? So to show them that math can be fun, easy, even child's play. How can algebra be so easy and fun? It's simple when you see the concepts. Remember, this is a unit. With this bar on the smooth side, we can't count it. We can imagine stretching and shrinking it to represent any number. We don't know its value, so we call it x. If we have a square that's 2 by 2, we call it 2 squared. If it's 3 by 3, we call it 3 squared. And if it's 4 by 4, we call it 4 squared. We call this square that's x by x, x squared. Now let's factor. Remember that 132 equals 11 times 12. We just made a rectangle and read the sides. Let's do the same thing with 1x squared plus 3x plus 2. Let's build a rectangle. Voila, it's easy. We read across the over dimension and see that it's x plus 1. We then read the up dimension and see that it's x plus 2. The factors of 1x squared plus 3x plus 2 are x plus 1 and x plus 2, much like 11 and 12 are factors of 132. X plus one times X plus two. Speckles, speckles, speckles! Here, algebra becomes a race to see which team can calculate the quickest, using colorful cubes and squares to make sense out of what can be confusing. The reason that you and I, our generation, were kind of terrified with that is because we only saw the written abstract symbols, and only seeing that, it can, it's almost like a foreign language. What we're able to do with the kids is we give them pieces that correspond with this, where color, shape, size, you know, tie in with the symbols there. We're using our whole brain, the creative, highly visual right side, and the logical, analytic left side. It's a dynamite combination that increases our understanding and enhances our problem-solving abilities. I wasn't that great in math either, and when I was introduced to Mortensen math with the algebra, everything just came alive to me, and it was really exciting. So any age can really learn it. We've enlarged our unit for the study of fractions. A lot of students do really, really well their first few years of school, and then they approach fractions, and it doesn't make sense. Once they see Mortensen math, all of a sudden fractions make sense because they can see it, they can move the blocks, they can understand. With these pieces, it's easy to understand the meaning of one half or one of two, one third, one fourth, three fourths, and so on. Children easily see that one half is greater than one third, which is greater than one fourth. Fractions are really cool with Mortensen math. Children learn quickly and easily when they're having fun. With Mortensen more than math, fun and learning go hand in hand. Sometimes our fractions wear disguises. Let's check on one-fourth. Here, one-fourth puts on the two-halves disguise and looks like two-eighths. With the three-thirds disguise, one-fourth looks like three-twelfths. With the four-fourths disguise, we call it four-sixteenths. It's easy to see and do with Mortensen fraction tiles. Mortensen is fast, fun, and easy to use. Mortensen math, it just makes me see the math better. With Mortensen, you don't need to tell your children how to add one-fifth plus one-fifth. They see the total is two-fifths. It's visually obvious. I really like the way that the Mortensen math program is self-correcting and the students can work with the program either independently and find success or they can do it interactively with the teacher. We've all heard the saying, tell me, I forget. Show me, I understand. Let me do it, I remember. With Mortensen math, we add, let me discover it. My self-confidence soars. Students get real excited when they discover things. And with Mortensen Math, they get to make a lot of discoveries. It builds their self-confidence and it maintains their problem-solving ability. You know, one of our kindergarten students discovered multiplication with this program. Children who come back to visit tell us 
that the concepts that they learned in Mortensen Math have helped them with high school algebra, has helped them with college classes. We have students who have gone on to do math and engineering and computers as a career based on the excitement that they found from learning the Mortensen Math materials as a very young child. In our highly technological society, math is becoming more and more important every day. And with Mortensen Math, students can understand even sophisticated concepts at a really young age. It means that career doors will never shut just because of math. Well, my son Shane has been involved in Mortensen Math for over 18 months. He looks forward to his Monday afternoon sessions. It's helped him in school because he is, he is so challenged by his Mortensen Math and his foot-long equations that he looks forward to showing his classmates up in his class at regular school. They love being able to understand what's going on instead of randomly memorizing. Rote memorization just doesn't work. A child needs visual, conceptual, they need to be able to see it. And Mortensen Math does that for them. Children don't need to carry the blocks around. They learn to draw sketches to represent the blocks. It's fun whenever we give the standardized achievement test, some of them will raise their hand and say, can we use Mortensen? And I'll say no. And they'll get their pencil and they'll draw little boxes in the corner. And pretty soon you see they're drawing a big square and then a line and then little dots. They're drawing their own little simple pictures of Mortensen to give them a visual aid if they want to do a problem that's harder than they're capable of doing on paper. Students also learn to show work in the standard way. The blocks give it meaning. Let's look at 12 taken 13 times. First, we build a rectangle that is over 12 and up 13. Remember, before we can count, we must have the same kind, so we simply shift the problem. In the upper right-hand corner, we have six units. In the upper left, we have three tens. In the lower right, we see two tens. And in the lower left, we see 100. We can also see the total amount, 156. What's even better, they can do problems mentally. We find the children on their own very quickly transfer from having to use the materials to having a visual image in their mind. We find our kids are excellent mental mathematicians and I have second and third graders who can actually beat me in doing a three digit times a three digit multiplication problem simply because they can visualize it from building the rectangles with the Mortensen materials. It was so easy for him that it surprised us all of the concepts that he learned uh, we, we couldn't believe that he was learning them that quickly and not only would he learn them, he would retain them. And uh, we'd be able to, to talk with him about these concepts later on, give him problems, and you could see him visualizing uh, in his head uh, what the concepts were and he was building those concepts. So they learn these symbolic um, concepts so early in life that they haven't had time to, <laughs> to realize that they're scary <laughs> to most people. True problem solving and creative abilities can only be maintained and enhanced when children use their natural talents. Any program that just gives rules, methods, and tricks for learning math, even if they use hands-on materials, denies our children the opportunity to develop their full potential, not only in math, but in other areas. It gives him the challenge and the courage to try hard in all his other classes as well. And it's fun to see him excel in his schoolwork. Many parents find there just aren't enough hours in the day to give their children the extra help they need. And teachers are overloaded with large classes and paperwork. That's why we're continually creating interactive videos that let you do what you do best, serve as mentor. Mortensen Math is your key to energizing your child's natural abilities. The blocks, software, music tapes, workbooks, manuals, and videotapes are so versatile and fun, you'll enjoy learning with your students. Bring a master teacher into your home or classroom with Mortensen More Than Math. It's just been really a lot of fun to be able to learn math along with my kids. Parents who don't use Mortensen Math, I feel, are really missing the boat.